Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ethos from MMO Bomb. Today, I am fortunately or unfortunately the only person that they could get to play a first person shooter. Uh, so I'm playing X Defiant today. Uh, I've put in a couple hours into this game. I played the game before it came out with its like uh, closed beta tests and you know server tests. I felt like this was a game that if anybody who had been playing it before it came out kind of felt that like we don't know when this game was gonna come out. Everyone was kind of like, is this game even going to release? Or it just seems like it just constantly got delayed last year. Well, look no further. The game came out, I think, about a week ago. And uh, I'm here to review it. Now, I'm just going to give a little bit of a disclaimer off rip before I get into it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm the biggest hater uh, when it comes to this game. Uh, I didn't like the initial beta test of it. Uh, I didn't like some of the other tests that I uh, like those periods of time before the game came out I played it multiple times and during that time uh, one time it bricked my computer and then the other time it, it was just wasn't a fun experience for me so I kind of wrote this game off and uh, now that's in a quote-unquote like finished state I'm gonna try to give it a fair shake but I just wanted to give that disclaimer off rip before we get into it so without further ado so really this game is in my opinion it's a call of duty clone but the difference is is that it tries to tap into the nostalgia of like the older call of duty so i would say that this plays something more close to something that you might have experienced a, almost a decade ago with like modern warfare 3 and black ops 2 it feels a lot like black ops 2 to me but there's still some areas of polish that i feel like that just modern shooters have gotten that this game just doesn't have and I some of it I can tell seems to be design decisions that they wanted the game to emulate like old school COD and so getting into some of the just content of the game uh you do have unranked which is like right here this is basically where you can pick the different modes of the game right now the game has escort zone control domination occupy hotshot hotshot is basically like kill confirmed with a little bit of uh there's like this game mode and I think it was ghost that was like called a uh, crank or and it would basically like as you killed more people and grab their tags the stronger you would get um occupy is basically like capture a single zone domination is what you expect zone control is where you capture and defend like kind of like hard point and escort is like a overwatch escort the mission uh i would say out of like my favorite ones i like hot shot i like domination i like uh occupy was all right but um Escort's probably the least liked one. I think uh, the community really just doesn't like that game mode. The welcome playlist is a game mode playlist that is skill-based matchmaking for just people who are under 25. So if you're brand new, it's a way that they can section off a group of new players so that you don't get dumpstered by basically the rest of the player base. Now, one of the biggest selling points about this game is that this game has gone out of its way to say that there's no skill-based matchmaking in these regular game modes so in these modes that you select in these playlists there's no matchmaking i mean it's it bases it i think purely off of like your connection and how good your internet connection is it doesn't really factor into like a skill-based system of saying like how good you are or like how strong how big is your level for your character it seems they just throw you into a game and then you can play it kind of goes back to i feel like how some people felt about old call of duty where skills-based matchmaking nowadays has become so overwhelmingly dis liked and just every game feels like a sweat fest so now they kind of are trying to prove that you know oh well we'll give you what how you guys felt about you know shooters back in the day where you could go in pub stomp have a fun time but as you'll probably see in the uh, gameplay my experience has been kind of weird by that because i've jumped into random lobbies and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm a little bit cooked i'm a little bit old i've jumped into so many lobbies where it's just it's sweaty like every single match I've played against has been sweaty uh, I've played in a mixture of playing with like one teammate or two teammates to even playing with like uh, a full lobby of friends to just playing solo and every single one of them felt like there's always somebody on the enemy team or constantly the enemy team is doing all the sweaty stuff that you can imagine from the Black Ops 2 era of Call of Duty. You know, they're they're jumping, Halo jumping um, past walls to get the jump on you. They're doing all the, you know, crazy gunplay stuff, the, the speed jumping, the movement stuff. Like, they're doing all that stuff. Um, and just personally, for someone like myself who is relatively getting old I, i'm not as good as at shooters as i used to be back when those games when i was playing those games this type of game unfortunately is just it, it, i'm a boomer at this point when it comes to these type of shooters i really just can't keep up with a lot of these young kids nowadays uh so it's more of my own personal problem than i would say really the game there's also ranked trial run which is basically the ranked game mode i haven't played this but they do the official version isn't out but if you want to try it out you can currently trial it and see if you like it 
it's a 4v4, and then they have a practice area where you can practice the gun shots and stuff like that, and, you know, find out how the guns, like, basically their recoil and all that good jazz. There's a challenge system in the game. You have an entire system of how you unlock guns is by basically doing, completing these said missions, and once you do that, then you unlock more of the weapons that are in the game. I think they said they'll be unlocking more weapons, but this is how you basically unlock uh, pretty much everything, including like the different character skins, different characters uh, for each faction. And then of course they have a daily challenge as well. So really pretty much exactly what you expect. Uh, the game does have factions. You have the Cleaners, which are from The Division, Phantoms that are from Ghost Recon, uh, Libertad, which is from Far Cry 6, Echelon, which is from Splinter Cell, shout out to the Stan Fisher, and DeadSec, which is from Watch Dogs 2. Funny enough, they, they I guess, you know, Ubisoft doesn't want to talk about Legion, so uh, they're choosing, I guess, the more popular one, which was Watch Dogs 2. So this is kind of like a mini hero shooter. Like, it is Call of Duty, but they've inserted hero shooter abilities into the game, so that could maybe turn you on or off to the game. Kind of similar to Overwatch. So you have your cleaners. Uh, these guys are basically like your faction, like area of denial type of characters. I'd argue and say these guys are arguably probably the most annoying characters uh, out of everybody in the game. They just do stuff that is very annoying in their abilities. Uh, so they already have incendiary rounds. So if they shoot you, uh, there's like a little bit more damage that they do do and they burn over time. But their weapons, uh, they're not good at long range. So they're very good at like rushing you in the face. And they have Firebomb. I hate this ability. This is, I'm not even joking to you. This, it seems to be players are using this like a sort of martyrdom. Like they'll just bum rush you and just throw the Firebomb at their feet and just try to kill you with that. Or they use the incinerary drone where like if you're behind cover or you're trying to reload, they'll just throw this drone at you and kill you. Really, this character or this just faction in general is just not fun to play against. Phantoms. The Phantoms are really cool. They're kind of this sort of like defend, like what it says, defend, disrupt, destroy. I think that these guys are relatively, you know, not that difficult. They're kind of these like um, hunker down in a certain area. They have a mag barrier, which basically allows you to get like a, a zone of protection where people can't shoot at you and they can put up shields. Libertad, these are basically like your medics of the game. Uh, they see they heal. That's their whole point. They heal, they revive, they, they heal friendlies, uh, they heal. Like, like I said, the whole thing is about healing with them. There's really nothing outside of that. Um, and then you have Echelon. These are basically your... <laughs> You're just like lone wolf sweat people. If you're like a person that likes to like go and get solo kills or kill a lot of people, this is your stealth class. Makes it hard for people to track you on the radar. You get a wall hack ability so you can see people who are nearby you in this area. I'll fire this thing off before we lose, but as you can see, basically you can see everybody on the map and you run around with this like one shot, two shot gun. So a lot of times opponents are gonna run from you or they're gonna try to like, right there. didn't have enough time uh i'm pretty sure some people find this class very infuriating to go against but uh personally i don't think they're re really that strong they kind of require someone to be really good at the game in order for them to really be super powerful and then zedsec unfortunately i haven't been able to play them i've played against them um the spider bot is kind of annoying it just has this little robot that chases you and then it basically stuns you in place uh but really i've never had uh that too much experience with them so i'm gonna hold my judgment on them because the game came out and there's not been there hasn't been that many people that have unlocked this faction yet as for the guns and the gun loadouts uh, pretty much what you expect here. There's a solid amount of guns that are already out day one. I think they said they're gonna be adding more. So you've got five different types of assault rifles. And then you got, of course, SMGs. Personally, I'm not a fan of the MP5, but as you clearly can see, I haven't had time to unlock the rest of them yet. Uh, but from my experience, I feel like the SMGs are, you know, exactly what they're good at. In close range, they shred through people, but in middle range, they kind of suffer. Um, I remember when I played one of the tests, the Vector used to be the most busted um, weapon but i haven't really seen the vector get spammed a lot lately so i think they probably nerfed it uh shotguns overall seem to be straightforward my experience picking them up off the ground they kill people like in close range you're just gonna wipe people out in long range they're not that good lmgs are just kind of solid um the marksman rifles are pretty strong in this game usually they two tap or three tap people and they just kill them very good at long range uh, so far i've tried the mk i thought it was a really good gun Snipers, I can just tell you right now, these are like Black Ops 2 snipers. If you were a fan of quick scoping or you know you like that old school Call of Duty where like the guns were very easy to quick scope people, these guns will do it. I think both of these guns straight up can just one shot people, not even in the head. If you hit people in the chest, they just straight up die. Sending new location to your op stat now. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, quick scoping is very good. <laughs> 
And then when it comes to customization, pretty much exactly what you expect, as you clearly can see here. You have uh, a decent amount of pretty much attachments for each gun, and you have a certain amount of slots that you're allowed to fill up with whatever you want. You have masteries. This is pretty much exactly what you expect from Call of Duty. Basically, as you level up your weapon, you get it to 100, you know, you go through bronze, silver, then you get your gold too. You have your secondaries as well, and they as well have their own sort of attachments that you can pick from. Uh, device, you do get a grenade of your choice, so you got mines, grenades, pretty much exactly what you expect. Nothing really different outside of this. Uh, so, of course, the game has a battle pass system, so you get the battle pass. You can either, uh, it has like some free stuff, but of course, a lot of it is paid. Uh, you can just purchase the battle pass for what looks like 700 coins. Looks like about seven bucks, seven, six, seven dollars to get the battle pass, which I mean isn't a bad deal. Or you could pay 1,200, which is a little bit like probably close to like 10 bucks to get a little bit ahead on your pass. And that gives you access to some skins. Um, from what I can tell, there's nothing in the battle pass that is really like pay to win. I don't even think there's like guns in the battle pass. It's just straight up just cosmetic stuff, purely cosmetic. Pretty much exactly what you expect from a battle pass. Nothing really scummy from that standpoint. Uh, if you go into the factions though, I will point out is that one of the factions that I wanted to play is locked is dead sec. So these are like the characters that you can play as and each of these characters have their own abilities. Dead sec unfortunately seems to be locked and the way that you can lock it to be fair is there is a challenge system so you can just earn xp so just by playing the game if you don't want to grind through that of course you can just pay real money so you can either just unlock one of the dead set characters and just get the faction unlocked which means you pay real money for it so that's basically around uh eight bucks or you pay 2500 which is a little bit over 20 bucks for them to give you dead sec and all the characters and some skins basically as it is a free-to-play game i wouldn't say that it felt like dead sec as a faction felt like overwhelmingly more powerful than all the other factions it seemed pretty balanced so i wouldn't say that this is like a big grievance against like the monetization of the game as you can imagine there is no monetization when it comes to the guns and the abilities none of that is locked behind like real money like you have to pay to get them even though it's a free-to-play game it seems overall that a lot of the monetization is purely in the cosmetic area right here where it says if you purchase this bundle for 3k they will just auto unlock these guns so that's like a little bit of a like a difference that you have to just keep in mind but overall uh it's pretty much exactly the type of cosmetics you expect i wouldn't really say that there's anything outside of that that should really have you um like upset for the most part it's what you expect for a free-to-play game so uh yeah that's pretty much the gist of it when it comes to the monetization overall if you are a uh Call of Duty fan that kind of wants to play something that's similar to old school CODs so like Call of Duty from like a decade ago this game might be interesting to you hey look at that I got 20 kills uh, however if you are not that type of person and or you really don't care that much about like playing like a Call of Duty clone that necessarily isn't as fr from what I feel like the gate gunplay it's it's serviceable I feel like it's solid gunplay but it's not like extraordinary then um, I think that you'll find something that, you know, can waste a little bit of your time away in the summer if you just need some sort of multiplayer game to play with your boys. Because it's free to play. X Defiant is currently available on pretty much PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So you can play it there. But yeah, pretty much that is my uh, thoughts on X Defiant. I'll also point out if you're not a fan of shooters, obviously, or you're not a fan of like old school, fast paced Call of Duty, this probably isn't going to be the game for you. And to be honest with you, Call of Duty Black Ops just is now like revealing itself to the world and it seems like a lot of people are going to be excited about that so the um, sustainability of this game is really going to depend on if this next Call of Duty installment comes out and if it's solid off rip I I just don't see X Defiant like lasting a very long time I wonder if it's going to be like one of those other Ubisoft live service games where maybe they let it last for a year and then they shut it down because everybody went to go play you know the new hottest shooter uh but i think there is still going to be this little fan base left over and there are some design things that i think they are doing the right thing for and they also seem to be listening to the community so that's a good thing that i think they have as pros so if you are looking for something to play over the summer you're looking for a first person shooter to play with your your, your homies i think that this game is gonna fit exactly that spot for you so yeah that's my impressions of x defiant let me know in the comment section below if you've played it what you think do you like it do you not uh i would love to know what you think uh comment below and uh, i'll catch you guys later all right peace out everybody